Hey there, Sagittarius. Welcome to your reading for the week of September 28th. This week, if you want to catch me live, I go live every single day at uh, 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. All you have to do is subscribe, hit the bell notification icon, and you will catch me live. But uh, let's see what we have going on for you this week. Uh, I like this. You have the Sun, the Abundance card. You do have the Eight of Swords here. I don't know what's going on with this Five of Pentacles, but we're going to have to see what is going on here because there could be some like sadness, feeling left out in the cold. Uh, I think it's just things not moving forward. Yeah, uh, things being a little bit slow at this time. So we'll talk about that in a second. But uh, let's see here. A lot of Swords energy, which is the opposite of what all the other fire signs are. But you know what? Sagittarius, you're unique, you're special. That's why your reading is different. Yeah, you start off, your overall energy is the five of wands. Uh, feeling, I feel like, uh, just intuitively, I feel like you feel conflicted in a situation or you're feeling like there could be conflict in a situation. I would question whether it's real or not with this Three of Swords. There is a question with the Three of Swords. You know, you have the Three of Swords here. Three of Swords uh, can be imagined as well or just a temporary situation because it is raining on that card and the rain it you know kind of in tarot and it's also raining on this five of pentacles as well i noticed uh, it can just represent something that is temporary fleeting something that won't last so i feel for some of you you need to realize that it's like you're coming out of whatever this sadness was uh, you have the abundance card here and again we're going to clarify this so you know we'll see where it goes but i feel like there could be a lot of abundance or there was a lot of abundance in the past with a person here you have the sun the eight of swords and the queen of cups it's like maybe a person or maybe just your situational life in general was very happy in the past but i also feel like there were some things that just weren't right with that eight of cups or the uh, eight of swords i don't know why i keep saying eight of cups queen of cups eight of swords so i do feel like in, and maybe i keep saying eight of cups because again maybe this is a walking away situation sagittarius where someone chose to walk away from you or um, maybe you chose to walk away even though it could have led to some sadness in your life yeah for like new opportunities as well definitely a lot of opportunity here there does seem to be like this death energy kind of floating around some of the signs where it's like maybe you're making a sacrifice maybe you're letting go of something that you don't really want to let go of but at the same time you know that it's holding you back whatever it is and that's kind of like the feeling i get here in this first row it's like maybe something in the past brought you a lot of happiness maybe it felt really good but again eight of swords feeling stuck it's like there's still something not right you know she's standing in between all these swords here and she has a blindfold on but it's part of self-imposed restriction she doesn't see that she could easily just set herself free. She's also standing in a very shallow pool of water, and it kind of represents the fact that these emotions are very shallow or that the worries and fears don't really exist. And again, that's why I kind of question this Three of Swords as well. Uh, in your next row, you have the Five of Pentacles, feeling left out in the cold here. I feel like for some of you, this is the fear of feeling left out in the cold. So I don't think that you have necessarily been let out in the cold, left out in the cold just yet. You have the Queen of Swords, the Hangman, the High Priestess, and the Knight of Pentacles. Some of you could be dealing with a Pisces if you're looking for love here. But I feel like either this person or you are not open to receiving with this Queen of Swords. I feel like someone needs to open up here in a situation. Knight of Pentacles says things are moving forward very slowly. I do feel like this is a love situation for you here, Sagittarius, and I feel like this could be a person, and it's like things have stalled out. I feel like things have been put on pause, or things are not progressing as quickly as you would like. I think you want things to move forward a lot faster, um, you know, and I feel like with this High Priestess as well, it's like there's a choice to be made here in this situation the high priestess kind of says like we also you know kind of can be a card of manifestation she has these two pillars one's black one's white and they have the b and the j of course but you know on a very simple level uh, the high priestess can say we kind of attract or receive what we focus on we can choose to focus on the negative or we can choose to focus on the positive the five of pentacles Normally, there is a guy on the Five of Pentacles. He represents a leper. He has a bell around his neck. And that bell says, do not call attention to things that uh, make you weak. Do not call attention to things that could make you seem like a victim. Or uh, do not call attention to your weaknesses in the first place. But what's popping into my head for you is I feel like this is saying, do not call attention to things that you don't want. Plain and simple. I feel like you really need to focus on what you do want this week. Um, a lot of opportunity this week as well. Ace of Swords. You have all the Swords energy. You know, as challenging as swords can be, uh, swords can also represent good ideas and swords can represent, um, 
you know, kind of duality as well. You know, the sword cuts both ways. All the swords are sharp on both sides. So it can represent like the good and the bad of all situations. But I do feel like there's a lot of balance coming in for you. So I do like to see that Sagittarius. I'm going to pull you an extra route, but um, you have the to be fair card. So again, definitely balance coming in for you. I feel like some of you could be dealing with the Libra as well, Sagittarius. But I feel like things are balancing out. You have the Three of Swords, the Ace of Swords, and you have the Seven of Swords. The Ace of Swords has six yods. These little golden things are called yods, and it has six on either side of the sword, and it represents perfect balance. So uh, to me, for some of you, something is balancing out, obviously, or there could be justice in a, coming into a situation in your life. So I like to see that. I also feel like this is kind of talking about victory over a future challenge. The sword is above these mountains on this card right here. The sword is always above the mountains on the Ace of Swords, and it does kind of represent victory victory over future challenges. So I do feel like some of you could be or have experienced a challenge in the future. I do feel like some of you are like worried about lying, cheating, stealing with the seven of swords with a person, or if someone is just moving at a snail's pace in love here, I feel like it's because I, like, I feel like someone could be moving very slow and it's like, maybe they're not lying, cheating, stealing, but maybe that's what you're thinking <laughs> because it's like, they're not acting right. So I feel like someone's acting a fool here, Sagittarius, and that could have you not sure what to do in love. And that could be why there are these questions popping up in my head right now. Like I have a billion questions going around my head at this time um, with this energy. Uh, the Seven of Swords is a card of the lone wolf as well. So some of you could just be dealing with a person like who is a lone wolf and sorry i chose to wear this stupid shirt today and um my microphone doesn't really want to cooperate with with this shirt but anyway we're gonna ignore it right but i feel for a lot of you this is like a lone wolf type person that you could be dealing with in love i want to pull an extra row and then we're going to clarify with the lenormand here um for you sagittarius but uh, let's see what we have for you. You have the Nut of Swords, more Swords energy, the Six of Cups here, and let's see the Emperor here as well. You could be dealing with a no contact situation for some of you here. Uh, if you're dealing with a no contact situation, I feel like someone's rushing in with contact, basically. You have the Community card as well. So we'll talk about that in a second. But I do feel like some of you, someone could be rushing in with communication here. Um, but it just looks like the last minute to me here, Sagittarius. So if you're dealing with a no contact situation, you might move on from this person. <laughs> it's like someone's missing out here is what I feel. The Six of Cups is good. I like the Six of Cups, but at the same time, it's there's a guy walking away on the Six of Cups always uh, in the back, right above my finger. I'm not sure if it's gonna show up on this camera, but there's a guy walking away on the Six of Cups uh, to me, the Six of Cups even says, don't get stuck in nostalgia. You know, a lot of readers read the Six of Cups as an ex coming back, but really, if you read about the Six of Cups, it can represent thinking about the past, but it's really about needing to make sure you don't get stuck in the past. So I feel like for some of you, it's kind of like you're moving on from the past because it's like someone is either just unclear or they just move too slowly. And there's, I feel like you could be dealing with a person who's so afraid of being hurt themselves that they hurt everybody else, if that makes sense. It's like they are so afraid of opening up that they just end up hurting people in their life in general. So uh, let's clarify this reading here, Sagittarius, and see um, what is going on here. <laughs> uh, it doesn't look great, but it doesn't look terrible. Uh, between the Sun and the Queen of Swords, you have the Queen of Spades here and the Six of Clubs. Or the, these, this can represent a lot of burdens. The Queen of Spades is basically the Queen of Swords, but it's not because it's a Lenormand card, but it's called the Bouquet. And the Six of Clubs is a card of burdens. For some of you, I'm getting something about an apology here. Like I feel like for some of you, it's like maybe if this person if someone from your past, maybe if they apologized like months ago, then maybe you would have taken this person back. But I feel like this, I feel like saying a daily dollar short. So it might be too late for someone. Between the eight of spades, the eight of swords here and the hangman, you have the ten of clubs. Um, I feel like this situation has taught you a lot. I feel like you have been learning a lot. For some of you, I'm getting school literally popping into my head. So some of you might be in school at this time. For others, I feel like maybe you have been stuck. Maybe you feel like you're stuck in a prison. But again, whatever the situation is where you are stuck, it has probably taught you a lot, is probably going to be uh, moving you forward. 
Uh, between the Queen of Cups here and the High Priestess and the Knight of Pentacles, you have the Seven of Clubs here. Seven of Clubs is very slow progress. What did I say? I feel like someone is being too slow. Something is not moving forward here. Something is very stuck with the, these three cards right here. Knight of Pentacles, High Priestess, and the Hangman. Someone isn't taking action. I feel like this is bringing in a lot of like challenging emotions here with that Five of Pentacles. Really, I feel like this reading is saying balance your own thoughts, your own feelings this week. And I feel like that's what will lead to success for you here, Sagittarius. I feel like it shouldn't matter what is going on around you here. It's like I see these little, it's like there's glimmers of hope. Let's put it that way. Here, Sagittarius, you have the sun, the ace of swords, and the six of cups even. It's like there are things, positive things that are popping into my head as things that are trying to poke through the clouds. Like I feel like the sun is trying to come up in your life. The Ace of Swords cuts through the clouds. It's above the clouds. And the Six of Cups, clear skies on the Six of Cups. So I feel like something good is trying to come out. I feel like that's what you need to focus on with the Five of Pentacles. Between the Queen of Swords and the Three of Swords, you have the Ten of Spades. It's called the boat. It's like a ship. Like It's actually called a ship. It's like a boat on the ocean. It can just represent moving on or moving. And so some of you could be moving. You could just be moving on from a situation here. Between the Hangman and the Ace of Swords, you have the Two of Pentacles. Uh, two of Pentacles, really good card. This could literally be justice coming in for you if you're dealing with a legal situation. Two of, I mean, the uh, Two of Diamonds here, it can represent uh, kind of like a settlement or a settlement offer if you're dealing with something legal. Between the High Priestess and Nine of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords, you have the Ten of Hearts and the Six of Diamonds. I feel like you this is what you know you deserve in love. It's like the Ten of Hearts is called the dog and it represents loyalty. So I feel like you know you deserve someone who is loyal to you. You know you deserve someone who's going to be good to you. Six of Diamonds is a card of need to believe it. Uh, Six of Diamonds is called the Clover and it represents a lot of luck and good things coming in for you. But it's also a card of imposter syndrome, feeling like you're not good enough to have something, feeling like you're not good enough to get something that you desire. So I feel like you need to like believe more with this five of pentacles. Like I was saying, I mean, I feel like your reading is very simple. Um, you, I, you, I could probably cut it off right here. This week, I feel like the five of pentacles are saying, focus on what you do want, don't focus on what you don't want. <laughs> it's just that simple. Uh, between the three of swords and the knight of swords, you have the queen of clubs here, card of seduction. Again, I feel like for some of you, someone from the past knows exactly what to say to you here and that could be a problem so if they're coming in with communication they could have all the right words and know all the right things to say but that is a card of seduction it's just like i almost feel like you could be dealing with someone who just wants to win it's like they just want to like i hesitate to say that they want to conquer you because i don't think that's a word i feel like it's more they just want to be right in this situation between the Ace of Swords and the Six of Cups, you have the Nine of Hearts, Knight in Shining Armor. So I feel like there's a true Knight in Shining Armor, a true soulmate coming in for you here. Um, could be a Pisces, because you have a lot of Pisces here. Could also be an air sign as well, because you have a lot of air showing up in your chart. But that Knight of Hearts, really good card, Knight in Shining Armor. Uh, between the Knight, Seven of Swords and the Emperor, you have the Four of Hearts. Four of Hearts is also another card of luck. A lot of luck in this bottom part here. Uh, but it's also a card of patience for love. So I do feel like there could be love coming in for you here. Uh, your top row outcome is the four clubs. Mercury retrograde. I used to call this card Mercury retrograde. We have a retrograde Mercury retrograde coming up in October. Um, but it just represents following the retrograde rules. It's, um, there are certain cards in the playing card reading system that I call uh, that to me are just indicator cards. They just indicate like um, the main energy of a reading, if that makes sense. Because we don't have reversals in playing cards. So when you read playing cards, it's like you need... Um, well, the way I created my system is I need something to tell me like the direction of a reading. And the four of clubs to me is a card that represents retrograde energy. And it just says, follow the typical retrograde rules. In your middle here, you have the eight of spades here. Eight of spades is called the garden. Some of you just maybe need a nap, you know? <laughs> I feel like I said this to you last week as well. It's like, I feel like some of you need a break. Eight of spades is called a vacation. It's called the garden. It can represent finding a place to relax, you know, recover, all that other good stuff. And it's also a card of like just needing a break. So I feel like some of you need a break. Yeah, you have the five of clubs here as well. Five of clubs is a good card. It's a card of millionaire and it could represent you becoming successful or future success coming in for you. So I feel like there could be a lot of future success coming in for you with that card. Um, yeah, between this, and here's the other thing. I wanna to touch on this community card. You have the co-create card coming up with that as well. 
I feel like whatever you're going through this week, there are people who will help you. Could be in your community. And the co-create card says work together with other people. Um, working together could lead to a lot more success than not. Even the Six of Cups, believe it or not, can represent just working together with another person. It doesn't have to be someone from the past. It could be like a past friend or something like that, but um, you know, could represent that. Uh, but weird reading, and not really weird, but I would just say, you know, kind of like, I do feel like some of you could be in your head. I do feel like it does feel like a little bit depressing. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to try to sugarcoat this reading reading for you Sagittarius you have the um, all like a lot of blue energy here but I feel like it's a choice so again five of pentacles I feel like this reading boils down to the five of pentacles I feel like for you to have a good week this week again tarot is not set in stone we are in control of our own destiny as I always say people always tell me how my readings are too positive well this is one that's not too positive so, so there you go number one but number two uh, tarot can't control our lives plain and simple so I always say we have a choice right no matter what. And the reason you're watching tarot is so that you can change the outcome. So the five of pentacles, I feel like is your answer. If you want to change this outcome, although I don't think it's a terrible week, I don't think anything crazy or bad is going to happen for you. I just think that could be a lot of thinking, a lot of ideas, not being sure what to do, confusion, why is someone moving too slowly, you know, all that. But I think that to change your outcome, five of pentacles, focus on what you do want. Don't focus on what you don't want, basically, is what I'd say to you. Yeah, I feel like you need to take the lead in your life as well this week and kind of like, because that's going to control your own destiny. Yeah, gateway. I mean, this could be also why it's a weird week. Um, you have this gateway card. Whenever we're going through a transformation or whenever we're leveling up, it can be very weird. It can lead to a lot of weird energy or depression or sadness because it's like, you know, maybe you're outgrowing people who aren't growing. I feel like that could be a major challenge. I've talked about this. Like you... Virgo, Capricorn, always get this message of like outgrowing people in your life. Um, to me, this could possibly be the Capricorn energy, Saturn, Capricorn. It's like you could be growing, but the people in your life aren't growing, and it's and, and that puts you in a weird space. You know, it's like when we when our life improves, when we make things better in our life, you know, what can happen is basically, um, you know, other people can think we're better than them, <laughs> or something like that, or we can lose friendships, and and weird things can happen. So I do feel that for some of you. For some of you, I feel like you've been dealing that with that for a while. Maybe you've been moving away from friends. Maybe people have been leaving your life, and maybe you've just been outgrowing people. But I feel like it's to level up. So that's that. But there you go. Uh, thank you for watching Sagittarius and definitely enjoy your week.